Hi guys, Anime Lover here, and today I'm doing a manga and anime review on Tarte Magica. And when I did my manga haul, I never knew how to pronounce this, and the reason why I didn't know how to pronounce it is as the story went on, I found out the name was French. So, after um, reading and asking people that know French how to pronounce it, I know how to pronounce her name, and it's Jeanne D'Arc. So, I got that down at least. Um, so this series is a turn-off to Madoka Magica, so, um, this is before the main girls, like, um, like the main girls from Madoka Magica are even born before they're even involved with, um, Cube. So her name is Jeanette, but the legend of Jeanne d'Arc, I guess. But her name is actually Jeanette. But when they, um, the first time she ever saw Cube, um, she was trying to say her name because she was so shocked and everything that she accidentally said tart within her trying to say her name so that cube is like how about we just call you tart because she not more like a it's not a normal name he she wanted um cube wanted something different and um Jeanette or tart tart is very religious her father is um like the priest of the Catholic Church, they're very religious, so they go and pray and they do all that religious um, activities. They do all the religious activities. And when she first saw Cube on Cube's ears, I'll zoom in a bit. On Cube's ears, there's like little things and um, cute the tart thought those were halos, so she calls, um, Cube Monsieur Angel, so. And within the story, a lot happens, um, she loses her, one of her close family members, I'm not gonna say who that is at the moment, which causes her to become a magical girl, and this is based in, like, the French Revolution, and what her like, her wish was that she wants to be a big empowerment to the French Revolution. She wants to fight England and make it go on to the French's side. So, with her abilities, that happens. And when she becomes a magical girl, there was another magical girl there that helped Kube convince her to become one and because they found her and they knew that she had a power that was very strong so they wanted her to be a magical girl because of her incredible impeccable power and her name was Reese and Reese is reminds me of um why am I forgetting her name uh I'm forgetting her name at the moment, but it's, um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm forgetting her name. Madoka Magica is, like, one of my favorite series. Well, it's the one that has the glasses, like, at the beginning, and she has, like, the really bad, like, heart and everything, and then she can go back in time and all that. Her, I, I feel like I, it's on the tip of my tongue, I'll say it at some point of this video, but... I'll show you the back of the book, and with this book, it's not just like a one book turn off, there's an actual series to go with it, there's a book two, I'm pretty sure right now, and I think there's a book three coming out, because it's a pretty new series, oh, oops. so I'll read what the back says, um, Joan of Arc is revealed as a hero of the hundred of the hundred years, war and a saint of the Catholic Church. Sorry, I have a cold, but um, her, leadership, her leadership and strength of character is time, uh, bleh, character, and her time did not escape the notice of Cube, who even in the 15th century saw, thought magical girls um, contain 
um, for valuable energies with her family and fellow magical girls fight at her side. Um, Joan fights in the English um, opportunities of the French, but will soon find herself fighting something much more sinister. Sorry, oh, lost my base. Okay, so I'll just sit it like that. But, um, what I was trying to say, because in this book it's very like, um, goes into the politics and everything. So, what let's try to say that, like, she, Kube was able to notice that she had this impeccable power, so Kube got her to become a magical girl. Okay, that happened, but then now she's fighting in the French Revolution, and she's, like, one of those people that's, like, everybody's like, yeah, here she comes, and it's like, like, a knight in shiny armor, and, like, comes and saves the day, that's her, and... When it says she's going to fight something more sinister, there is still witches. So she's in the French Revolution fighting, and then she's out fighting witches. So she is very in the middle of something that you would normally not want to be in the middle of. She's in the middle of almost dying in war, and almost dying while fighting a witch. And then she has to worry because she has a lot of magical power and with your soul gem if you use too much magical power at one point your stone could your soul gem could corrupt and you could become a witch at that exact moment so with her she has to watch her magical power that she uses when she fights but she has so much power that it's hard to do that so um that's the end of this manga and anime review i Right now, at the moment, there is no OVA for this. Um, so, if you enjoyed this review, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because there is more to come. My next review I'll be doing is on Noragami Stray Stories. That is another turn off of uh, anime. And so far, what I've read, it's pretty good. So don't forget to buy this book if you like it, if you like what you've heard about it. It's very good, very good, well done. Same um, artist and creator as Madoka Magica, so if you're still like e uneasy about it, it is the same creator, so it's not going to wreck the actual story. Um, I hope you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and bye guys.